The Kjeldahl method or Kjeldahl digestion in analytical chemistry is a method for the quantitative determination of nitrogen in chemical substances developed by Joan Kjeldahl in 1883. Method The method consists of heating a substance with sulfuric acid, which decomposes the organic substance by oxidation to liberate the reduced nitrogen as ammonium sulfate. In this step potassium sulfate is added to increase the boiling point of the medium. Chemical decomposition of the sample is complete when the initially very dark colored medium has become clear and colorless. The solution is then distilled with a small quantity of sodium hydroxide, which converts the ammonium salt to ammonia. The amount of ammonia present, and thus the amount of nitrogen present in the sample, is determined by back titration. The end of the condenser is dipped into a solution of boric acid. The ammonia reacts with the acid and the remainder of the acid is then titrated with a sodium carbonate solution by way of a methyl orange pH indicator. Degradation, sample plus H2SO4 or 2SO4, AC, plus CO2, G, plus SO2, G, plus H2O, G, liberation of ammonia, 2SO4, AC, plus 2 NO and NO 2 SO4, AC, plus 2 hours 2 O, L, plus 2 NH3, G, capture of ammonia, B, OH, 3 plus H2O plus NH3 NH4 plus plus B, OH, 4 A, back titration, B, OH, 3 plus H2O plus NO 2 CO3 NH CO3, AC, plus NAB, OH, 4, AC, plus CO2, G plus H2O, in practice, this analysis is largely automated. Specific catalysts accelerate the decomposition. Originally, the catalyst of choice was mercuric oxide. However, while it was very effective, health concerns resulted in it being replaced by cupric sulfate. Cupric sulfate was not as efficient as mercuric oxide, and yielded lower protein results. It was soon supplemented with titanium dioxide which is currently the approved catalyst in all of the methods of analysis for protein in the official methods and recommended practices of AOAC International. Applications, the Kjeldahl method's universality, precision and reproducibility have made it the internationally recognized method for estimating the protein content in foods and it is the standard method against which all other methods are judged. It is also used to assay soils, waste waters, fertilizers and other materials. It does not, however, give a measure of true protein content, as it measures non-protein nitrogen in addition to the nitrogen in proteins. This is evidenced by the 2007 pet food incident and the 2008 Chinese milk powder scandal, when melamine, a nitrogen-rich chemical, was added to raw materials to fake high protein contents. Also, Different correction factors are needed for different proteins to account for different amino acid sequences. Additional disadvantages, such as the need to use concentrated sulfuric acid at high temperature and the relatively long testing time, compare unfavorably with the Dumas method for measuring crude protein content. Equals total Kjeldahl nitrogen equals, total Kjeldahl nitrogen or TKN is the sum of organic nitrogen, ammonia, and ammonium in the chemical analysis of soil, water, or wastewater. Today, TKN is a required parameter for regulatory reporting of many treatment plants, and as a means of monitoring plant operations. Equals conversion factors equals, TKN is often used as a surrogate for protein in food samples. The conversion from TKN to protein depends on the type of protein present in the sample and what fraction of the protein is composed of nitrogenous amino acids, like arginine and histidine. However, the range of conversion factors is relatively narrow. Example conversion factors, known as N factors, for foods range from 6.38 for dairy and 6.25 for meat, eggs, maize and sorghum to 5.83 for most grains. 5.70 for wheat flour, and 5.46 for peanuts. Equals sensitivity equals, the Kjeldahl method is poorly sensitive in the original version. Other detection methods have been used to quantify NH4 plus after mineralization and distillation, achieving improved sensitivity, inline generator of hydride coupled to a plasma atomic emission spectrometer, potentiometric titration, 
zone capillary electrophoresis, and ion chromatography. Equals limitations equals, Kjeldahl method is not applicable to compounds containing nitrogen in nitro and azu groups and nitrogen present in rings as nitrogen of these compounds does not convert to ammonium sulfate under the conditions of this method. See also, Dumas method, another nitrogen analysis method, Devada's alloy, a powerful reducing agent for nitrate analysis, bisinoninic acid assay, a colorimetric assay for protein nitrogen, Combustion analysis Another CHN analysis method. References Kjeldahl, J. Nainthod Zerbis Stimmung des Stickstoffs in Organischen Kar Paragraph PERN, Zeitschrift Far 1 Quarter R Analytische Chemie, 22 366-383. Julius B. Cohen Practical Organic Chemistry 1910 Link to Online Text, AOAC International, Dr. D. Julian Michaelmans. Analysis of Proteins. University of Massachusetts Amherst. Retrieved April 27, 2007. HTTP, www.fawogo06y5022e03htm, AMY Jabber, N.A. Mayana, S.M. Sultan. Determination of Ammonium and Organic Bound Nitrogen by Inductively Coupled Plasma Emission Spectroscopy. Talanta, 78. 1298-1302-2009. 1. HTTP, Blog Pharma Physic FR More 592, HTTP, Blog Pharma Physic FR More 83, Wastewater Engineering, Treatment and Reuse, Metcalf and Eddy. External links, Solutions for Automation of the Kjeldahl Method, Solutions for Automation of the Kjeldahl Method.